friends, this is Kitty. And I'm Totty. And, and welcome, welcome to Little Wattle Nursery. Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. We've had a number of people recently join our channel and we wanted to warmly welcome you and say thank you for joining and supporting us here at Little Wattle Nursery. Today we are excited to share the box opening of our first partial silicon doll from Ashton Drake. So let's get started. Oh dear. I can see our precious cargo has had a bit of a rough ride. We actually ended up having to purchase this doll from the US. Uh, that's another story for later. So these holes, hmm. No doubt this is due to Australia's very strict biosecurity and quarantining laws. Uh, maybe they were spraying or che checking for something inside. We don't normally receive parcels like this uh, from overseas, but I guess with the current pandemic uh, and with COVID, they're being a little bit more stricter. So let's get started. I hope she's okay. Right, let's get the package opened. Oh, fingers crossed she's okay. Oh, she's beautiful. Gosh. Now, this is all dolled up, Olivia. She's actually an authentic partial silicon doll by award-winning master artist Linda Murray, exclusively for Ashton Drake Galleries. She's a manufactured realistic silicon doll and she's a collector's edition doll. Oh, gosh. She looks beautiful. Look, I think what we'll do is we'll get her out of the box and take off all the packaging and then we can go through the details. We'll be back soon. Oh, my gosh. She is just stunning. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh. oh, the reason why I wanted her so much is because she reminds me of my daughter, Totty, when she was a baby. Here's a picture of a comparison. Let me know what you think. Oh, I just can't believe it. So getting back to the details, all dressed up Olivia is in this stunning, absolutely stunning, it's iridescent satin dress and there's this beautiful hand smocking on the bodice. There's lace edging on the collar and the sleeves and she's also got puffy sleeves and her headband matches. Oh, I've still got the netting on the hair. Oh, gosh, that dress is so beautiful. Oh, look at this. She has the sweetest matching satin bloomers. Coming down to this, the feet. Oh, look at that. Pink tulle trimmed white socks. And satin Mary Jane shoes. Oh, and they have like the sweetest little bows, tiny little bows on top. Now there's a story about the bows and the reason why we had to get this doll from overseas instead of here in Australia, because it is available here in Australia at Ashton Drake. More on that later. Anyway, here's the Certificate of Authenticity. All dolled up Olivia. She's an original 
True Touch Authentic Silicon Collector's Edition doll. So this is Ashton Drake's True Touch product. There's Linda Murray. And she's very famous. <laughs> no explanation needed for her. And this also came. Back up to her face. Now her hair, it's hand rooted. Oh, it's really soft. That's super soft. So I'll pull the netting off in a minute to show you. So it's hand-rooted hair. And I think she's just under 50 centimetres, about 19 inches, I think it's said on the website. Her features, even though she's a manufactured doll, her features have been hand-painted. So she's got this lovely blushing on her cheeks beautiful rosy blushing she has these adorable long lashes look at her eyes they're so blue so she's got those beautiful long lashes and then coming down to her hands let's check her nails oh and these really sweetly painted nails I'm assuming that's on the feet as well. So here she is undressed. So she comes with this diaper. So let's take a look at the silicone. It's actually quite sticky. And I'm going to show you how to powder that in just a moment. But there's blushing on the elbows and the hands. Down on the knees. Here's the toe. And it's got that wobble that you get from silicon. Isn't that cute? And there's some lovely blushing on her face. Really pretty. And the hand-painted lips. So silicon creates that feeling of um, actual baby skin. And this silicon is handcrafted from Ashton Drake's signature True Touch product that they advertise. Uh, she's naturally weighted so this is a material body and she's naturally weighted to give that feeling like you're cuddling a real baby so yeah the silicon's really lovely it's soft and squishy to touch mm. oh she's so pretty guys oh. look at that the little wobble the silicon wobble the details under here on the feet so you can probably see she's got little bits of hair and stuff like that stuck to her silicon gets st sticky you need to powder it actually what I'll do now is I'll show you how to powder so this is what you'll need to protect your silicon doll so the brand that I'm using is silicon velvet and it was recommended to me by Dolly Friends in the community. And this gives you an explanation of uh, what it actually does. So, look, professional artists actually use it for their silicon when they're making their silicon dolls. And you can see it touches up shiny and sticky spots. It protects your doll from damaging friction when dressing it makes them silky soft and it just removes all the, the yucky bits as well so it's called silicon velvet this was the pack i just got a small pack because i've only got this one silicon doll and i pop mine in a little container and i've got a special soft brush so what we'll do is i'll show you how to powder her so you just lightly dust in here see the powder and you just start to dust it on it's really important that you don't use regular talcum powder I've been well informed by people in the doll community 
that cornstarch powder is fine but not to use uh, talcum powder because it will actually break down the paint on the doll over time and wreck the silicon so very important can you see how that has now removed hang on there's a stubborn bit just here let me there we go see how it just makes it disappear it's like magic oh that's so cool so it gets rid of all those yucky little sticky bits on your dolly so I've just powdered under here as well. It's a little bit difficult to do and film as well. I'll go on with the arms now. So, look, getting back to the story of uh, why we purchased this doll overseas. We actually purchased this doll originally in Australia and had to return it four times due to a number of manufacturing issues the first being we received probably the prettiest doll out of the lot she was the first one but she was missing the little bow on her shoe and Ashton Drake wouldn't let me return the shoe for a replacement I had to return the, the entire doll which I think is absolutely ridiculous in any case um, what happened after that was a myriad of ridiculous issues such as um, receiving dolls where the silicon had bubbles in it um, dents there was uh, one doll that we received that looked really odd she had really strange dark blushing all down through here it looked very unnatural uh, lips that were painted on crooked we had all sorts of problems and then there was some issues with getting the refund uh, and I rang them many times. They said that the refund would be two to four weeks and that didn't happen. And in the end, I had to say to them, look, I'm going to call the ACCC. I'm going to contact the ACCC about getting my refund. The ACCC is uh, like the consumer watchdog here in Australia. So shortly after that telephone call, within a day, I had... Oh, sorry within uh, I think I emailed and within a day of sending the email saying look you've left me no other option but to contact the ACCC I received my refund so uh, I then purchased the doll from a doll, com uh, doll shop overseas in America and look she's probably the best that we've received with the exception of the hair this one's missing quite a bit of hair compared to the original one that we had. But she's in good order. The silicon is in good order. We originally purchased this doll in, I think it was either August or September of 2020. And we're now in March 2021. So it has taken six months for uh, four dolls to be returned we waited over double the time to get our refund and then obviously I had to source the doll from overseas and I was very fortunate to find it at a doll shop in the US and then we had to wait for it to be posted so it's gone on for a very very long time so it's been a long process Six months is too long, but we're glad that we've got her. And she'll be probably our one and only silicon doll in our nursery. So we are just going to treasure her. And I think we're going to name her Charlotte. Isn't that a sweet name? Hello, Charlotte. So she's come up a treat and she's not sticky anymore. And all those little yucky black bits and bits of cotton and all those sorts of things, they just completely brushed away. So you can see that's, that was what, what, what was on the doll and it's not now. So look, would we buy another silicon doll from Ashton Drake? Probably not. Not when we've had to send it back and receive five dolls and we're still not 100% happy. Probably not. Would we buy a reborn silicon doll? 
Never say never. <laughs> Aww, isn't she sweet? Oh, she's just so precious. Look at her. She is all dolled up, isn't she? <gasps> Mm, so thank you everyone for joining us for all dolled up Olivia's box opening. Please like, comment and subscribe to see more of our dolly content. See you next Sunday. Bye bye.